good day and welcome to today's construction class for today's class we'll be looking into a topic titled isometric drain isometric drain all right isometric drain also known as isometric projection is a way of presenting designs or drawings in three dimensions all right so i'm very sure we will be adept with the following figures such as rectangle square trapezium triangles and the likes those figures which i mentioned are known as what they are known as plain figures and they are usually in what in two dimension two dimension in one sense for example if you are told to construct either a square a triangle or a rectangle you will be given your dimension in what in what in length and what and breadth okay so for this reason we denote object such as that as what as objects in what in two dimension and they are also called what plane figures all right but when it comes to isometric projection the difference between isometric projection or isometric drawing and two dimensional object is this isometric drawing is seen pictorially yeah seen pictorially pictorially as how you will be able to view your object from three dimensions that is you will be able to see the length the breadth and the what and the thickness which is what the depth all right and that is what isometric drawing actually refers to all right so an isometric drawing is a 3d representation of an object room building or design on a 2d surface that's just it yeah the surface at which isometric drawing is being projected doesn't crumb from heaven yeah it is also what on a two-dimensional surface what are examples of two-dimensional surface for example now our drawing sheet it is what two-dimensional because your drawing sheet has a length and what and a breadth all right even the screen at which you are actually viewing this video from is also two-dimensional because you can also see the words the length and breadth of your words of your screen all right so that is it an isometric drawing is represented on what on a two-dimensional surface okay so looking below i have uh, a drawing all right so this particular drawing where my cursor is touching the top view the front view and the what and the right side view these drawings are what are in 2d they are in two dimensional that is they are represented with what just the length and what and the breadth okay but this other one now which my cursor is on which is at the top right side of the drawings okay this is what in three dimension and you the viewer as you can see this drawing in three dimension makes sense than this this or this because this one is what is in a pictorial form all right so that is the beauty of isometric drawing it makes your object to be viewed in what in pictorial form to be viewed pictorially all right so in order for a design to appear three-dimensional a 30 degree angle is applied to his side what are we, what is this statement trying to actually explain take a look at this blocked object take a look at this blocked object all right if i have a line in this manner underneath like this all right that is my horizontal line right there on the screen so the angle yeah the angle from this junction down here to that horizontal line is usually what it is usually angle 30 degrees all right it is usually angle 30 degrees and that is how an isometric drawing is being projected an isometric drawing is projected at an angle of what 30 degrees to its what to its horizontal plane all right so as to make it look what pictorial so as to make it look pictorial all right so that is that about that okay so to proceed look at the picture now on the screen okay so this very picture this very picture there are some things i want to actually show you all right there are some things i want to show you yeah so take a look at this object here labeled as what the set square all right so in isometric drawing the set square which we use is the 30 degree by 60 degree set square all right yeah 
30 degree by 60 degree set square so this longest part of the set square yeah this area of our set square this longest part of it all right is the what is the 30 degree why this other side here is the what is the 60 degree okay is the 60 degree so and you know this is our what this is our t square this object here right now is our is our t square why these are drawing sheet so my set square sitting comfortably on my t square then my pencil what draws a line yeah so if i draw a line yeah on the plane of that my set square towards this axis like this okay so the angle i will be making right here to this axis is what is angle 30 degrees all right is angle 30 degrees so that is how isometric drawings are being are being projected all right so that is that about that you can just uh take a look and see how it actually works all right so to create the starting point for the frame of that cell phone so it is actually what positioned in that manner all right so we are going to dive into uh the introduction to isometric drawing how to make use of your set square t square and your drawing instrument perfectly thank you as you follow suit